Hollywood has rediscovered Oklahoma as a great location to shoot a movie. Matt Damon, Dennis Quaid, Leo DiCaprio, all are currently filming or in pre-production. And Oklahoma-based filmmakers are also getting into the act. Gallery of America's Robert Reed reports on a new holiday movie. So the new movie, Finding Carlos, is kind of an Oklahoma Christmas miracle. It was shot in three months during COVID with a cast of local actors, musicians, and dancers. The story builds off the hip hop Nutcracker, which is a modern take on Tchaikovsky's famous ballet that was created by the Race Dance Collective seven years ago. Now COVID kept it from going on the stage this year. So they came up with another idea. This would have been our eighth year to produce a show in Oklahoma City called Race's Hip Hop Nutcracker. So we weren't able to do that this year. And I just couldn't let that happen. I just couldn't let that go and just do nothing. And so this year, because of COVID, she and I were talking and she said, I don't think we're gonna be able to do the Hip Hop Nutcracker. Would you consider helping us do a movie about it? And I'm like, I'm in 100%, I love it. I'm like, I'm an obsessed fan of Race Dance. Action. So we thought, well, why don't we take that, you know, even a step further? And so what we did was let's allow different cultures to look and see what they would have changed about a specific part of the Nutcracker. Some of those groups were the Folklorical Company out of Oklahoma City and a, a group that came together because of an Asian cultural festival that happened a few years ago and the Hostiles. It's actually a family of dancers. The, the son and the daughter are doing the traditional dance, and then the dads are the ones doing the break dancing. It was such a great opportunity to cross so many boundaries, and because film is so different than a stage production, they were able to add a storyline, and they were able to do things with it that we haven't been able to do before. You walk out of this room, you'll be in military school for the next two years of your life. Would you like to hear about your other option? Carlos, I'd like to introduce you to your father, Joe Smyer. Hey. It's great to finally meet you. After I read the script and realized how much of the story uh, is about this relationship between father and son and about reconciling and about dealing with past addiction and dealing with, you know, uh, missed opportunities. It made me realize, okay, this isn't just a dance movie. This is a movie that can actually touch people. You are never alone. My role is, it's your average troubled teenager who has certain problems and certain things that he deals with that are hard for him. And he has no way to express his real emotions because he doesn't know how. If you want to live in total freedom, you have got to let the past stay in the past. Through family, through dancing, and through learning new things, and finally finding an outlet, he became the best version of himself. So I hope people take that, like just art and expression is the purest form of life and like the purest form of anything, and everyone can take something from it. You can see this movie, Finding Carlos, all month for free online. Just visit the website deadcenterfilm.org. It's also playing at select theaters around Oklahoma. Visit findingcarlosmovie.com for locations. As always, you can see more Gallery America features like this on our Instagram account at OETA Gallery. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, stay arty, Oklahoma.